Hello everyone, welcome back to Plan B TV News. Peter Obi official filed petitions at Presidential Election Tribunal. This was disclosed on Arise TV by the chief spokesperson of the Obi Doughty presidential campaign of the Labour Party. Details in the video. Please confirm this for us. As Labour Party filed a case officially, were you able to inspect the INEC materials? Did they give you access? Please tell us about all what happened as regards checking materials and filing your case in court just before the time. Just about last week, I'm privileged to be part of that particular uh, uh, legal team, uh, being with them. Uh, we made a statement that we have been denied the opportunity of actually uh, inspecting the materials, and then we, the, the, uh, Dr. R. Levy, the chairman of the a committee, legal committee, led us to INEC. I was part of it. And there and then we met with the INEC chairman who openly promised Nigerians that they are going to cooperate with the Labour Party and give us all documents that is required for us to prosecute our case. This was an open statement that was made by the INEC was there. And luckily for me, yesterday I left Lagos and I was here in Abuja. Abuja. We have also, I can tell you categorically, that we've already submitted and filed our case against the election that took place on the 25th of February, and this is official. And that particular filing has been done. Now, to answer your question that whether we've gotten all that were required, I will tell you no. But we've already been able to get, because right there on the day in which we visited INEC, INEC was able to give us the summary result sheet of what was pronounced on that day. So our attitude is that the lawyers have made it clear that we will get all that we have we can from INEC, and we will demand for the remaining documents that is required for the legal team to prosecute its case. So it's a continuous business. As of yesterday, Delivero Timi led a lead team of lawyers to be at INEC office in Lagos to collect some of the information that we are. And this is why it's around across the Federation. Even though we have gotten some resistance from some of the resident electoral commissioners, citing that the Secretary of and the Independent Electoral Commission has written them a letter saying that they should not certify or give any uh, document outside what has already been uploaded at the RF, RF, RF at the moment. And I, I, don't, I don't know. At the moment now, I think some of the uploading is being done almost two weeks after the election. So that will tell you the contradiction and the contraption in the result sheet of the presidential election. You see, when you lie, you'll be looking for another light to cover the first light that you've been. And that open room for a lot of mistakes. So we will continue to make them, in quote, both the orchestrator and then the one who, uh, uh, who actually uh, uh, executed the, 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 the plan to make mistakes. And this is open. And this is where that we are also calling on the judiciary, please and please. On the other news, for the very first time, Tinibu was defeated in Lagos State by Peter Obi. This clearly states that Tinibu did not manipulate any result nor ring any election in Nigeria. If he had the opportunity to do so, he would have done that in his own state because no one would want to lose his own state to anybody. Adam Soshomole defend his principal despite the open eyes of the people that the election was ring in favor of the APC. For the very first time, for the very first time, Tinubu was defeated in Lagos. If he has the opportunity to manipulate, or he has arrangement with anybody to manipulate in his favor, no candidate wants to be reported as losing his base. As he stand, of all the four candidates, it's only Tinubu who is reported by any figures that lost his state. Guys, they just stole the um, ballot boxes from my unit. Like, they literally stole it just now. What is your, what is your... Ah. Kwakwaso won the state. Um, I think won the state will be, of course, he considered only 4,000 for all the other parties. He took the rest for himself. All of those are okay. It's only our candidate that lost his state. You think that if anyone of, if Asimajo has the means 
or in order to do anybody a favor, he will allow a situation where a uh, APC candidate will lose his unit. Our DG, the DG of our campaign, uh, Mr. Lalong, he lost his senatorial seat. You think, as DG of the campaign, if he knows what can be done to manipulate the process, he will not do so at least to save himself? The chairman of APC Progressive Forum in Kebi lost his senatorial bid. He's a city governor. So I don't know. I thought for me, if you look at it, I'm talking about national unity. Nigerians have spoken. This mandate of Asawaju Bola Mentinubu is truly a national mandate because it has huge national spread. He has voted in the south as he had in the north. He had in the southwest. He had in the south-south. And maybe some numbers in the southeast. There is no geopolitical zone where he didn't gather some votes. Right. And there were a couple of surprises. For example, you mean that um, Nasarawa here, our national chairman, will lose his senatorial zone to SDP. He did. Well, on the other news, the Labour Party LP governorship candidate in Lagos State, Bandebo Rondo Vivo, has vowed never to congratulate Governor Babajide Sanwo Olu following his victory at Saturday election. Vivo, who said that the election was a charm, he spoke while sharing a video at a press conference of how election results were manipulated in favor of Sanwo Olu of APC. If you notice, can you go back to that? If you notice, there is a signature here. But this has been altered. You see, the signature already or originally was for 67. Now it has, Tipex has been covered, used to cover this six. A zero has been added, and now you see seven. You look at the APC, originally it was 20. Or 22, most likely. 20 or something, right? And then now you see the Tipex here. A one has been added, and now it's 120. So the signatures are there, but these results have been tampered with and then uploaded. And there are so many instances of this. And then also you find that a lot of results are being called as results, authentic results, are being called as authentic results, but you see that there are state assembly results or presidential results. Like for instance, this is the state assembly result, but it's being submitted as the governorship result and it is this result that is being calculated and announced by INEC. So there are so many instances of this, right? And it's not going to stand because we have our results. We're in the lead with our results, and we're going to challenge this in the but court of law. Go ahead. One, 19 local governors have been collated and announced so far. The two are outstanding. You won in a board of him. Uh, the incumbent has won in 18 local governments. I've seen that situation. I completely condemn the entirety of this election in every clear term. This was a sham of an election. It was a compromise. It was an illegality that has not been perpetrated in Lagos since I've been born. This was an election where entire agents of a party were chased away from their polling units. This was an election where people were standing, and if you came to vote and you were not Labour Party, they were beating you. I have had to pay the bill for over 12 people. One was in concussion, he just woke up today. One's leg is completely broken, he has to go into um, surgery. And I've been doing this this entire morning. I cannot even transfer money again because I'm done transferring just on hospital bills. So I condemn this. I will never call Babajide Sonwulu to congratulate him for this shambolic, this sham of an election, this violence that's literally setting a precedent for war in the next election, because nobody's going to come into elections believing that they will discuss ideas and issues anymore. Because what is it about? It's about who is the most violent. Second question, you said the police was complicit. In the war, what we had commission and because said, Every situation they responded to, 
and the entire security scenario did not prevent voting. They did not prevent voting. They did not prevent voting. That's what he said. That, that, is, that, is, that is a big lie. It is a big lie. I thank the Army. I thank the DSS. I thank the Navy. I thank the, I thank the Neighborhood Watch that came. If these people did not get involved, what you see, what all the videos you have seen will be child's play compared to what the reality would have been. In Ikorodu, people died. In Apapa, someone died. In Shomulu, someone died. So how are you saying that people will be aware that a person has been killed and they will come out and vote? In Nigeria, me fellow do, people were sitting down in their house because they were literally threatening them that if they come out, they will kill them. And they were following people and going to their houses. After you, they will follow you to your houses to go and threaten and threaten to harm your family. This Lagos deserves so much more. Look at Oyo State, Shea Mark in day one. People are jubilating. He did not have to use any violence. You don't have to use any intimidation. When you serve your people, your people will return you to office. You, you should not be, we should not be seeing videos of so much violence statewide. And you're saying that you're, you're dancing and celebrating you won an election. You plan to govern these same people? Even Yoruba people were being assaulted because they apparently looked Igbo. This is what Lagos has become under the APC government. So this cannot carry on. And I call on every well-meaning Lagosian Nigerian, we must stand against this. Because, see, there's a saying that when they came for the Jews, you kept quiet. It went. They came for the Muslims, you kept quiet. Eventually, when they come for you, everybody will be quiet. So we must stand against all of this. Because real lives are at stake here. Real businesses, people's live streams are at stake. And we are, go we are going to do our part. Make sure we collate, collate all the data. Go to court for, to fight for the people's mandate. But the people themselves must stand up against this ethnic violent tribalism that the APC government is trying to normalize in our state. Because this has started all the way from NSARS, where they made us to believe that violence did not happen till today now. And then you have a commissioner of police saying this is a free and fair election. So, so are you saying that your team has its own records of these results? Yes, we have collated all the results as much as we could because there are places where they chase all our agents out. There are places where they burnt results in Ojo. Several places where we'll be calling for cancellation of those results and a rerun. There are places where our ballots were thrown into the gutter. We dried those ballots. We counted it. We've kept records. So essentially, are you going to call for cancellation of any We are no calling for several cancellations where violence was the order of the day. Because elections did not happen there. And the international community is watching, and they also know that elections did not happen in these places. So you cannot create so much violence against Lagosians. Right results, and we should celebrate that election happened. Elections did not happen in Lagos. So we should expect to see you on the election petition track. Certainly. My, my legal team is already on it. We are here compiling our results, and we are going to fight, like I said, because the people that came out to vote did so with so much courage. They came to vote in hope. We were not incentivizing them with money. Despite all the traditional institutions to try and scare them with the Oro Festival, they still came out with courage. So we owe it to them to fight for every single vote, and we are going to do just that. So thank you. All right, guys, this is where I'm going to be heading the video today. Do you enjoy this particular video? If you do, please do not skip without you commenting your thoughts in the comment sections and give these videos a thumbs up. This is the only way you can support the growth of this channel. For all our returning subscribers who year to year or time to time always come to support the growth of our content, thank you very much. May God continue to bless you. Thank you. Until we meet again, do not forget to turn on your notification bell so you'll be the first person to be notified anytime we upload a new content. If you have not subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please subscribe and be among the Plan B TV team. Thank you very much. Until we meet again, peace out. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified and I see the show your support and I say God go bless you too Stand on the bed Blambi TV Blambi TV Blambi TV Blambi TV Blambi TV Blambi TV Blambi TV